Hello friends, welcome to class today. This is going to be a TRX number four workout. So we are going to do four exercises for 40 seconds, followed by abs, and then we have four different rounds of those, of different exercises. And then we'll finish it up with, um, with a little bit of light weights. So you will need about a five or eight pound weight, just depending on how much you can lift comfortably. And finishing it off with hamstrings and abdominals and a little bit of stretching. So I hope you guys are ready to move to Today. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications of more videos. And let me know in the comments what you think. What do you need more of? What are you guys looking for? So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll stand up, and we're going to start with working our shoulders. So go ahead, find some forward circles, and then we'll go ahead and we'll make some, reverse the circles. So go the opposite direction. And then we'll find our swimmer splat. So just bring your arms out in front of you, open them up, other side. So I got the microphone here, I gotta be a little careful. So go ahead and swimmer splat your arms. And let's take our hands behind the back body, interlace all 10 fingers, lift through your chest, find a little baby back bend, opening up your heart, up overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, all the way down towards the floor. Have soft knees in this first forward bend. So try to get your chest to touch your knees and your belly on your thighs as you reach your arms up overhead. And as you do so, see if you could squeeze the palms of your hands tight together in order to really stretch out through your shoulders. Let's slowly roll on up and then bring your arms up overhead. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Exhale, bring them in the heart center. Let's go ahead, find your straps. Now with our straps, we're going to keep them in a neutral position, hinge at the hips, and then just go ahead and um, find a flat back position. So we're stretching again through the hamstrings. And when you have your flat back position, feel free to glide side to side, just working all of the different edges. Maybe you shift forward a little bit. We have the straps, so we can go ahead and do so, shifting back and just finding some organic movement. You could even bend your knees. It's okay if it gets a little messy. And then we'll go ahead, turn around, coming into a stretch for your chest. So take one foot forward and go ahead, stretch through the chest. You could bring one arm up or the other arm up. Doesn't matter. Maybe you're just taking both arms back. You could play around with maybe switching feet and even just really finding your edges. Woo, it feels good. And then we'll do one more where we lean back stretching out through the serratus, the side ribs, your intercostals, the traps, your lats. And then go ahead, come to the other side. So I'm really leaning, pushing my hips towards the ground as I reach my arms up overhead, creating a really strong half moon shape so I could fan out my left side ribs and then slowly come on out of it. And let's just get a little bit of blood flowing before we begin. So let's find a squat. And we could make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. So you could use two fists to measure so that they're about hip distance apart. And then ideally, you'd like to have your heels directly behind your toes. So we don't want to have duck feet and we also don't want to be too pigeon toed. So make sure that the heels are directly behind the toes. Go ahead. Squat down, bring your thighs parallel to the floor, your hips in line with the knees, and then come on up. And let's just go ahead and find some movement. So just nice and easy, these first couple go arounds. <sighs> Making sure to breathe. Really just getting the blood pumping, getting it moving, starting to warm up the body. And we'll keep going for five, four, three, two, one, let's turn around, coming into a lunge. So bring your, you're gonna step your right foot forward. And as we do so, bring your arms out like the letter T and soften the left knee down towards the floor, coming into a 90-90 with your knees. Make sure the right knee is over the left right ankle. Slowly step back, let's do the other side. And we'll keep going. So bring your arms out like the letter T, bring them in front of you. Step forward, T, and back together. So you're just starting to move the body, finding your breath, 
finding that smile. It feels so good to be alive, to be moving. Okay, we've got three, two, and one. Whew. And then let's come around. Let's do one last one. We'll do um, some high rows. So just row it up and come down. We're gonna bring your elbows wide for a high row, bringing your hands to your shoulders. And then let's do a little bit of eye fly. So bring your hands straight together, bring them straight up overhead, back down, up overhead. Keep moving, you've got five, four, three, two, one. You guys warmed up yet? You ready to go? <laughs> okay, our first one is number four squats. So moving into the number four squats for 40 seconds. So you have a couple of options with this. You can always leave your foot on the floor if your hips are not that flexible or if you are able to bring your right ankle all the way up onto the left uh, quadricep, then go ahead and do so. Flex the foot a lot. We're gonna go ahead and squat down. So we'll do just a couple just to kind of give you the flow. And I'll lift it up, squat it down, and lift it up. And now if you need to, you can put your toe down on the floor or your heel. That's your, your backup plan, okay? So find your number four squats, and let's begin. Whew. So you're just driving the glutes back, and then slowly pull on up. So press into the left heel, engage your core as you're going ahead and doing this. Yeah, you guys are almost there. Ah, find the breath, find the joy. You've got 15 seconds. And we're gonna move right into the other side. You've got five. Four, three, two, one. So go ahead, and we're gonna move right into the other side. So bring your left ankle on top of the right knee or on the floor, take your pick. You wanna put your toe or your heel, and let's go. Drive your glutes back, inhale, lift it up. Back and up. Making sure that your knee stays over the ankle. So these single leg postures, it's really important to make sure your hips are squared off. So try not to sink in through one hip, getting a little too sassy. You've got 10 more seconds to go. You can do it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. So we could go ahead, we'll shake it out. Moving into a pull press. So we could go ahead and let go of one of the straps. We're gonna put both hands around the one strap, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring your arms all the way up and over to the left, back to the center, to the right, 40 seconds, let's go. So lift it up, to the center, to the right, to the center. If you wanna make it harder, walk in, to the center, to the right, to the center, you got it. Try to keep your arms straight as you go ahead and do so. There's a tendency to wanna bend the elbows, now you can have soft elbows, but you don't want to have a strong bend in them. So keep a nice tight core, engage your core, engage the glutes so you want to have a nice, you want to be flat as a board in this position, right? You got five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come on out of it, and we're gonna move into a squat row. So this one, we're going to have our palm face up in the squat row. And again, make sure your feet are about hip distance apart. You can eyeball it, or you can always measure with your two fists, right? Make sure the heels are behind the toes, palm face up. We're gonna bring the elbows into the side ribs as we squat down, right? So let's go ahead, side, or low squat, and then bring it into a low row. So squat, low row. And we have 40 seconds, let's begin. So press the heels down into the ground. Feel your biceps as you squeeze on your way up. Contract your glutes as you come on up. You've got five more seconds. 
You can do it. It's got five, four, three, two, and one. Moving into high row. So we're gonna step back just a little bit. Place your feet down onto the floor. Find like a 45 degree angle with your body as you're leaning back. So you have nice straight arms and straight legs. We'll go ahead, bend our elbows and bring our hands to our shoulders. So we have 40 seconds, let's begin. So walking in if you want it a little bit harder, walk it out if you want it a little bit easier. So you guys can decide. It's completely normal for your toes to come up off the floor in this TRX exercise. And then also let's keep our elbows out wide. You can do it. This is such a great way to work out. You can bring these straps with you anywhere you go. So it's nice for travel. I happen to have them anchored into the ceiling in my house. I also have a yoga hammock, so I hook both of them up. I just alternate them, swap them out. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out. So we're moving into pigeon abs. So we're gonna drop our straps down to the floor, come down onto your back, and then we're gonna put your right ankle on top of the left, right? Interlace your fingers, put them behind your head, as you lean all the way back down onto the floor, you could go ahead and extend your left leg towards the back of the room. And then go ahead and bring your, lift your hips and bring your elbows to your shin. So see if you can get your sacrum all the way up off the floor. And then bring your elbows into the shin. You guys can do it. So we have two sets of these, one for each side. Let's begin. 40 seconds. So see if you can bring both elbows close to the shin. They don't have to touch all the way, but we want to be moving in that direction. So make sure you lift the sacrum off the floor. See if you can lift the scapula off the ground. We've got 10 more seconds. Hang in there, you guys. You can do it. You've got five, four, three, two, one, come all the way down, just rest the head for, and the neck for just a second. Change legs, flex the left ankle, put it on top of the right. Go ahead and lengthen the right leg, and let's begin. 40 seconds. So if you can think about this, exhale on the contraction. So exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down, exhale. And on the way down. So when we exhale on the way up, it just allows us to give it a little extra squeeze, getting all the air out of the body. And again, trying to bring your elbows close into the shin. Whew. You guys can do it. I feel the burn. <laughs> you got five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, bring your Knees into your chest, give yourselves a big hug, and then roll over to one side of the mat. Let's come right back up for another round. So four more exercises. Okay, so we're gonna do lunge with a knee strike for 40 seconds. So that's gonna look like where we step back and bring your knee to the floor. So we're coming into a 90 degree angle, and then we'll come up, strike your knee up. So as you strike up, you could come up as high as you can, really contracting your abdominals. And let's go, we have 40 seconds. Begin. So step back, make sure your left knee is over the left ankle. And if you want to amplify this or make it a little bit tougher, you could always float your foot off the ground, not stepping the back foot down at all. So take your pick. I'm getting a little wobbly there. <laughs> You've got it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up and then shake it out. Ooh, that left glute. And let's move into the other side. So go ahead, step the left foot back. Find your 90-90. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, lift it up. 40 seconds, let's begin. So go ahead, strike it all the way up into the core. Contract your abs, keep it moving. Feel the blood flowing. You're burning calories. You're toning everything up. So we wanna have nice toned figures. 
Ah, it just looks better when we walk, right? <laughs> we don't need everything jiggling all over the place. So we want to tone it up. And just keep in mind, strength happens over time. So it's through consistency of our exercises that we slowly get there. Again, if you want to float your foot, you can. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of it, shake it out. We're going to turn our palm face up for bicep curls. 40 seconds with biceps, so lean back. Again, you can walk your feet out if you wanna make it easier, and if you want it a little bit harder. But the key is that we always have tension on the straps, and that our core is nice and flat the whole time, so we're, we're not piking the hips out, or leaning them too far forward. So palm face up, 40 seconds, let's begin. So I'm leaning back with a nice flat back. Yeah, so strength happens over time. It's just one of those things, it's consistency. You do a little by a little by a little. It doesn't happen overnight. So if you wanna get there, commit to some discipline. They say discipline is blissipin, right? You have three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of it. Whew. All right, moving into leg lifts. So this is gonna work the hip flexors, the front of the legs. So we're gonna lean back, and you'll lean into your left foot. So you can bring your left foot maybe into the middle of your mat. You could do this with shoes, or I just use a yoga mat barefoot. But take your pick. We'll go ahead, we're gonna point our right foot and lift it up towards the sky. Right, so 40 seconds, let's begin. Go ahead, kick it up. Yeah, so the more discipline that you have in the life, the more you're gonna find happiness. So whenever we are consistent with working out and eating right, we start to feel good, we feel like we're accomplishing something, especially if we get have really productive work days or work weeks. And then when we cheat, when we slack, it has a tendency to make us feel bad. We're kind of bummed out. Our figures aren't quite the way we want them to be. So really just taking a moment to develop some discipline will add an incredible amount of happiness into your life. And then slowly come down, shake it out, get ready to move into the other side. So bring the right foot into the center, point your left foot, and let's go ahead, lift it up. Yeah, so this is contracting the whole front side of the leg. For me, I'm always trying to do handstands. And with handstands, you really do need to develop your hip flexor muscles in order to help with those press-up handstands. So, so many different uses for being able to lift your leg. <laughs> right? Ah, oh, hang in there, it's burning. You can do it. So keep kicking. Keep moving. You've got it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of it. Whoo! All right. Moving into Ys and Ts. So we're moving to Y flies and T flies. So step back, lean back. The Y flies is where we bring our arms up like the letter Y. Slowly come down, then bring it out like the letter T. So the whole time we, we want to make sure we're not bending our elbows a lot in order to come in and out of that, but try to keep straight arms. You can have soft elbows. Okay, 40 seconds. Let's begin. Y fly, T. Y fly, T. So I have my toes, they come off the ground, it's okay. T, move into the Y fly and the T. You guys got it. T, Y fly, and T. Yeah, so just find the inner smile. You guys can do it. Whew, feel the back side of your, your back body burning up, getting strong. Feels so good. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Slowly come out of it. And now we're going to move into a 40 second plank. So come all the way down onto the floor. You can place your hands down on the ground. 
adjust so that you guys can see me. Kick your feet towards the back of the room. And then make sure your shoulders are over the wrists in your plank. Also, try not to pike your hips up or sag them down. We want to engage the core, engage the quadriceps. Let's begin. Engage your hamstrings. So actively press the floor. So actively press the floor away from you, round the upper back, so that we have a slight protraction in the shoulders. So we're not retracting the shoulders down, but rather pushing the floor away from us actively. So engage the core. Whew, you can do it. <laughs> Hang in there. 10 more seconds. Keep pressing the floor, contracting the abs. Engage your core. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of it. Whoo! So we'll move into I fly. So lean back with your straps, straight arms, straight core. And let's go ahead, bring our arms straight up overhead. Slowly bring them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Okay, you've got your 40 seconds. Keep going. So have a nice tight core in this position. So we're working different muscles with all these different exercises. This is working the upper back. You've got 10 more seconds. Hang in there. You can do it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out of it. Moving into preacher curls. So preacher curls are just like your regular bicep curls, except we are going to have your elbows out wide and then bring your hands into the sternum. We'll go ahead, lean back. And we got three, two, one. Bring your elbows out and then back down. Let's go. So if you guys have requests, please let me know. I'm happy to be making more videos. I want to create more content that you guys are interested in. I have so much fun creating all these exercise videos. I have the athlete archetype within me. So I'm a little bit of a fitness junkie. I love sports. I love working out, just being in shape, feeling healthy. There's nothing better than true health, you guys. So if you are feeling a little tired or like it's burning up right now, hang in there. When you're done, you're gonna feel so good. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, slowly come on up. Moving into our switch lunges. Okay, these can be a little tricky. I'm gonna move my mat back a little bit. So we have one foot back, you're coming into a lunge. So you have two ways to do this. You can step up and then step the other one back, step up, step the other one back. If you want to have a little bit more cardio in it, you're going to go ahead and jump and switch. This is going to be pretty intense. So pick your poison. So we have 40 seconds. Let's go. Step one foot back, jump switches, 40 seconds. You guys can do it. Whew. This will definitely get your heart rate shooting up. So yeah, if it gets too much, you can always start to alternate feet, switching one foot at a time. I'm feeling like I want a little extra burn. So just do what you feel like for the day. You got five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Slowly come on out of it. We're gonna move into abductor legs. So you bring your strap so it hangs down in front of you. And then we're, you have one hand below and one hand above. You'll lean into your left foot and then bring your right leg out to the side. So we have 40 seconds. Let's begin. So this is going to be working your glute. This is great for all those straddle headstands, <laughs> straddle handstands. If you want to have a nice tight glute, if you want to look good in your jeans or your bikini, these are great exercises for it. And 
and, it, and if it's sore or if it feels like it's really hard, it just means you, you're probably weak in this position and we have room to grow. We'll go ahead, shake it out, get ready to move onto the other side. Maybe you wanna change your hands. You can decide, we have 40 seconds and I'm just looking at the clock here, you guys. <laughs> and we'll start in three, two, one, let's go. So I guess more than anything, it's about feeling good. It's about how do you feel in your body? Do you feel healthy? Do you feel like you can still move around? I used to live in Ecuador for a short period of time and I'm watching older women hike up these Andes mountains and, they're, and that one lady was 88. She was really strong, great shape, healthy. And all I could say is that's how I wanna be when I'm aging. I got three two and one slowly come on out of it Whew. and that is just putting in the time are you putting in the time okay we're going to do shoulder touches in your abdominals so come all the way down into a plank press your hands down into the floor and then kick your heels back shoulder presses is where we bring one hand to the shoulder switch sides other side so 40 seconds in your plank let's go So see if you can try to keep your hips as centered as much as possible. I know it's a little tricky as we shift weight side to side, but it is easy to swing them a lot. So try to stay steady, stay centered in this position. And keep going. You guys are almost there. You've got 10 seconds. Maybe you wanna pick up the speed. You've got five, four, three, two, one, slowly come on out of it. Whew. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna turn around. Hi right, guys, let's turn around, face the back of your mat. We're moving into bench presses. So we will find that nice little flat back, bring your arms kind of out like Superman, and then we'll bend, bringing your hands to your shoulders. Go ahead, straighten the arms. We have 40 seconds, let's begin. <clears throat> So go ahead, you're gonna contract your, uh, your chest, pushing the floor away from you. It also might be a nice little good chest opener as we lean forward. My heels come off the ground in this position, that's okay, it's normal. So it's just amazing what you can do with the TRX straps. There's so many different exercises. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, come on out of it. We're gonna move into triceps. So we're gonna lean back and our arms are gonna be kind of like a Superman. So we're parallel to the floor and then we're just gonna simply bend the elbows, bring the hands to the forehead and then straighten them out again. So go ahead, try again and then straighten it out. 40 seconds, let's begin. So you guys can do it. This is gonna make your, your triceps burn up. Try to keep the elbows parallel to the floor. So you could have your hands go to your head or they could go all the way to the back of the neck. So just take your pick, what feels good for you. Find that smile. You guys can do it. Ah. Yeah, I feel it burning. <laughs> Hang in there. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, come on out of it. And now we're gonna move into our Supermans where we crunch all the way down to the floor. You're on your tippy toes, and then your hands are by your shoulders, right? And now when we shoot up, we shoot up like a Superman coming to a 45 degree angle. Come on down, inhale, shoot it up. 40 seconds, let's go. So again, engage the core. You wanna have your abs stiff like a plank, like literally like a plank board. 
This is working the legs. I love these uh, exercises that do cardio. They're working the upper body, the lower body. So I'm all about the efficiency of an exercise. You got 10 seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Come on out. And we're moving into chest flies. So we'll bring our hands to the center and we're gonna open your arms out to the side. Bring them back into the center, back out to the side, soft elbows, 40 seconds, let's begin. Again, walk back if you need to, or walk forward to adjust the level, making sure that it's comfortable for you. Keep going. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on out. And now we have our 40 seconds. We're gonna move into a plank, another plank. But this time we're gonna do a saw plank. So I'm gonna adjust this mat to come back a little bit. We'll come up on our tippy toes. So you can always drop down to your elbows if you need to. So modify however you need to accordingly. Kick your heels back. As we're in this plank, go ahead and shift forward on your tippy toes, shift it back. Inhale, lift it forward, and exhale back. 40 seconds, let's go ahead and begin. So these are called saws. We're sawing back forward and backwards, coming up high on the toes. So we're also working the feet in this position as well. We're bringing our shoulders in front of our wrists. So you can press your index finger knuckle down and your thumb knuckle down as you grip the floor with all five fingers, feeling the sensation with your fingers. Keep going, you've got 10 seconds. And we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Whew. Come back up and let's find your weights. Moving into our weight section. So I have eight pound weights. Maybe you wanna use five pound weights, it's up to you. And we're gonna do L shoulders. So we'll bring our arms up, glide them over, slowly bring them back down. 40 seconds, let's begin. So lift it up, glide it over, back down. So nice, slow and controlled. So you wanna even work on the negative regression. So inhale, lift up and over, slowly come down. Inhale, lift it up, come on up and over, slowly come down. So we're just learning how to get that control with our bodies. Whew. Inhale, lift it up, glide it over, slowly come down. <laughs> it's amazing what a small amount of weight can do because I feel this burning. Whew. Slowly come down, inhale, lift, come on up and over, and down we've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Come on down. Keep your weights. So we're moving into a squat with your arms up overhead. So you have your arms together. Bring your feet so they're about mat distance apart. So a little bit of a wider leg squat. We're gonna go ahead, bend your knees a lot. So squat down with your weights and let's begin. 40 seconds, inhale, lift it up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Lift. And down so you have straight arms, drive your glutes back. Inhale, lift, exhale down. And lift, down. Nice flat back. Try to keep your shoulders over the hips. So again, working cardio, upper body, lower body, so it's engaging your core. We got three. Two and one. Huh. Come on out. Keep your weights. I know you're burning up. Moving into lunges with the weights. Huh. Side lunge with your weight overhead. So we're going to go ahead, step to the side, drop your weights down. Inhale, lift it up. We'll come to the other side. Right? Drop it down. 
inhale, lift it up, 40 seconds, let's go. So drop it down, lift it up, drop it down, lift it up, drop it down, lift it up, drop it down, and up. Keep going, drive your glutes back. Whew. You're going to feel your heart rate shoot up pretty quick. Hang in there, you can do it. You're stronger than you think you are. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, keep going. Down and lift and down and lift. We got five, four, three, two, one. Slowly coming out. Whew. Okay, Let's tricep kickbacks. So engage your core. You can do this uh, two different ways. So you could bend your knees, have a nice flat back and kick your arms straight back. Or you could also do it in a lunge position. Either way, take your pick. If you do the lunge, I'll give you the cue for halfway through. Let's go. So kick the arms. See if you could pause on the extension and then bring it back. We got three, two, one. If you're changing legs, go for it. Keep going though, you have 20 more seconds. <laughs> so see if you could pause on the extension, bring it back. Pause on the extension, bring it back. Keep it going. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Slowly come on down. Let's move into a forearm plank. This time with our forearm plank, let's saw, saw to the right and to the left. So we're gonna come down to the forearms, curl the toes under, and if you need to drop the knees down, that's okay as well, but just try to hug the hips in. So with that, we're engaging the hips, you can lift your feet up off the floor, but we're going from side to side for 40 seconds. So we'll start in five, four, three, two, one, so engage your core and then begin to go side to side in your forearm plank. Find your breath. So we're kind of like finding that tick-tock motion, right and left, we're really working the upper back in this position. Press your forearms down into the floor, kick the heels back. Forty seconds is over before you know it. You got 10 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come on up. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, moving the hamstrings. I gotta turn the camera around. So find your straps. You could lower them so that they're calf length or calf midway through the calf. And we'll do the other side. So I, I like to lower them, but not too low so that my hips don't, or so that I could actually get my hips up off the floor. So we're gonna put my heels into the straps and putting my feet onto the bar of the strap. And we're moving into bridges. So these are bridge lifts. So you're gonna roll all the way down onto your back and then press your hands down into the floor. We'll lift our hips up and then slowly come down. We have 40 seconds. These will burn pretty bad, so just hang in there. Let's go ahead and let's begin. So lift your hips and come on down. Squeeze the glutes the whole time. <clears throat> you could use your hands to press the floor away from you if you need to. This is so good for the hamstrings. I can feel the contraction, feel the burn. Whew. See if you can squeeze the hips all the way up there. Whew. Stick with the breath and make sure you're not holding it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, we're moving into, what am I moving into? Side planks really quick. So I'll move over to the side and we're gonna come down onto your elbow. Okay, you have 20 seconds here. 20 seconds with your hand on your hip and 20 seconds with your hand in the air. So we'll curl or push the feet down into the floor and then let's begin. Let's have 20 seconds starting now. Mm. 
Get ready, move your hand to your hip. So you get 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 20 seconds, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See if you can dip your hips and then lift it up for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Ooh. Okay, come up and over, other side. Let's move right into it. You have 20 seconds with your hand down on the floor. Let's go. Hmm. You got it. So you got 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hand on the hip, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, hand in the air, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, find some hip dips, you got 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, oh, and done. Whew. Okay, oh my gosh, and we got hamstring pulls <clears throat> and hip dips, okay? So we can do this. Moving into our hamstring pulls, we're gonna just alternate legs. So put your feet back into the straps. This is just 40 seconds. Let's go ahead, press your hips down into the floor, and then we're gonna go ahead, lift the hips up, and then just alternate legs. So it's gonna be a little bit of a running man. 40 seconds, let's begin. So you can use your hands to press the floor away from you. We're really working the whole backside of the legs. Hang in there, you can do it. Keep pressing the heels down. Whew. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on out. Whew. Okay, slowly come on up. And we're gonna move into hip dips with the plank. So go ahead, find your plank, lift the hips up high, or you know, engage the core. And we're gonna go ahead and you'll just uh, drop your hip to one side. So I'm rolling onto the outside edge of one foot, inside edge of the other foot. Come on up, and let's go. Let's begin working the obliques. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. So just rock and roll from one side of the mat to the other. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Let's just go ahead and push right up into a downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out. We're gonna move into our final stretches. Hmm. So inhale, shift into a plank. We know we're in a proper down dog when we have our shoulders over our wrists in our plank, and then we push straight back into a downward facing dog. And when you get to that down dog, pedal the feet. It could get messy. It doesn't have to be a pretty down dog. Find your edges, find those places that want to get stretched out. Okay, go ahead, step your right foot to the front of the mat, drop the left knee down onto the floor. Inhale, lift your hands up to your 
knee, if you are able to bring them up overhead, go ahead and do so. So if you have blocks, you could also use blocks if you need them. I just happen to have flexible hip flexors, which means that they're not as strong, right? So I'm working on that as well. So go ahead, curl the left toes under, step the right foot back and go ahead, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee down to the floor. You could come up onto your knee, lift your heart. You're pushing your heart up and back and moving your hips forward and down. Maybe bring your arms up overhead, bring your biceps all the way back by the ears to stretch through the shoulders and then slowly release it down. Find your downward facing dog again. Let's go ahead, bring your right knee to the right edge of the mat, coming into a pigeon. Inhale, lift up tall, exhale, come all the way down. Maybe thread your left arm under. Take your right hand, push it to the top of the mat, push the floor away from you. We'll slowly come back out of it. We're not gonna stay as long as we normally would in a yoga class. You just wanna get a quick little stretch, move into the other side. Notice how my left knee is all the way at the edge of the mat. Right, inhale, lift up tall. Take your right arm all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Use your left hand, push the floor away from you. Slowly push back up, find your downward facing dog up high on the toes and you can just walk one foot at a time towards the top of the mat so really just take your time feel your edges at every little step towards the top of the mat when you get to the top go ahead hang heavy down towards the floor use some blocks if you need to bend your knees if you need to as well you want to have the weight over the toes so that your hips are over the ankles as best as you can right so it took me years to stretch out my hamstrings. I'm still working on it. It's still a work in progress. Especially as I run, I'm kind of undoing all of my length that I have to constantly work at. And he'll find your half lift. Reach the crown of your head towards the front of the room. See if you could shift your weight into the toes to bring your hips over the ankles. Exhale, fold down towards the floor. Inhale, bring your arms all the way out and up overhead, reach up tall. Exhale, hands down in the heart center. So let's do that again. Bring your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, bring the arms all the way out and up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down into heart center. Let's stretch our fingertips all the way down towards the ground. Stand up tall. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you want some requests, I'm happy to help. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Share it with everybody who might enjoy some TRX workouts. These are free workouts. It doesn't require much equipment, just a TRX strap, and it's amazing. So. Sending you guys all lots of love and health. See you next time. Bye.